We are doing some Warframe Wednesdays, just checking out my inbox, seeing what there is. What's this? Oh, Razorback Cypher, I did not realise that the Razorback had uh, invaded or attacking, I should say, not invaded. Anyway. If I Let's say, go and do some stuff. I'm thinking of doing some, what's it called, uh, Sanctuary Onslaught, I believe it's called. Is that what it's called? I think it is. Let's, let's have a look. I cannot, oh, there is another. Actually, let's do that first, and then we will do the Sanctuary Onslaught. I want to get that uh, Oricon Catalyst blueprint. Okay, we have actually found a squad. Yay! <coughs> so yeah, I am trying, trying is a strong word, but well, it, it, it is in my case, but I am trying to obtain the Korra Warframe. And I've got to say that one thing that they have updated with this game that I do not like is the fucking new UI, like, this navigation system. I do not like it with the, like, you move the left stick around and you just move this, like, little cursor thing and hope that it drops onto the thing that you want. Like, I suppose in a way it's more obvious when I'm using this shitty controller, which I will be sorting out very soon. But, uh, it, it just irritates me. I don't like it in, in general when they try to do that or they update the game when it's been fine for all these years as it was and then they're like, oh no, this new update is gonna Make it much more easier to use. No, it doesn't. It makes it a lot more fucking annoying and it gets on my nerves. But then again, there are a lot more worse things to uh, worry about in games than that. Also, I gotta say, E3 has been pretty, pretty fun. Watch the, uh, watch the Xbox E3 briefing. Very good. I think they did very well this year, Microsoft. Personally, I think they did very well, at least. Um, I will be at some point shortly, or towards the end of E3, uh, watching the other conferences, that's what I usually do, just to see what they have. Because you never know, it, it will sometimes motivate me to get a, another, another console. Oh, I can't see him. Okay, here he is. The hell is that flashing? Okay, Stalker, that's why. So, uh, where is the Stalker? Is he around here? I, I zoom not. Controller, please respond to my command. There we go. Breach complete. We're free to proceed. Oh, there it is. But yeah, it's been a very interesting E3 in my opinion. Some interesting games I was not expecting to be announced, like the uh, skateboarding uh, timed exclusive. The uh, one that was shown at the Xbox briefing. Can't remember its name now, but it sort of just reminded me of Skate 4 really. In other words, I call it Escape for. <coughs> Got a dread blueprint again. Yay. That is exactly what I wanted. Not really. I did not want that. But oh uh, well. Heavy yeah, I probably won't be, be doing this stream for very long because I want to watch some of the inside uh, on inside on Xbox stream or just the Xbox stream for E3 or maybe the Mixer stream. Actually I'll probably watch the, the Mixer stream to be honest. 
because they seem to have a bit more interesting things happening on that stream. At least in my opinion they did. I've got to say though that this weapon that I brought when uh, the Void Trader was last uh, online, I would think it was the I think it was the last time he came on, or the time before, cannot exactly remember. I do like this weapon. It's a very fun weapon. Doors are locked. Time to break in. So yeah, I don't really have much to say at the moment because I don't really know what to say about uh, Warframe at the moment because I haven't played it as you, some of you may know my TV's been playing up and I wasn't able to play every single uh, afternoon and evening so it was pretty much uh, pretty much sporadic uh, live streams and that was happening, so I wasn't able to live stream on pretty much full full days. So I had to like just skip a few installments to my weekly series, like Terra and Warframe, and my my anime weekly series. Because I, I didn't want to start doing like Warframe Wednesdays on like a Saturday or Sunday if my TV was on. It would just look weird and. Would it make any sense when it was uploaded on YouTube? But yeah, I have heard that the new uh, cinematic quest has just recently come out actually. Now that I think about it, for Warframe on the PC, not on the Xbox or PlayStation. So hopefully that will be coming out soon for us console players, which will be nice. Because I am looking forward to that cinematic quest, especially the prologue. That was interesting. So I want to find out what happens or what the Lotus is up to. It would be uh, pretty fun to find out, actually, to be honest. So, yeah. Predictions, though. My prediction is, is that the guy that she joined will end up like wanting to use the uh, the children in like a or this is this is like a level prologue but he wants to start a whole new war with the uh, what the hell was his name from from the second dream and uh, Octavia's anthem Chris oh, what the hell was his name but those guys, those 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 yep, yeah, those sentient guys, I think he's gonna try and persuade the Lotus to you of uh, persuade the Lotus to try and make the children and the warframes fight those in like a war. In in my personal opinion, that's what I think it's that's what I think it's gonna be all about. But I will probably probably be totally wrong, in my personal opinion. Um, I'm not gonna watch anything about it. Um, especially if it's already been like uploaded onto YouTube like the whole cinematic quest I'm not gonna watch anything involving it I wanna Operator, go into it blind and excited Me and want to find out what is going to happen let's put it that way now I'm gonna swap out my uh, primary weapon although it is a fun weapon to use I personally want to use something else, like possibly. Hmm. The buzzer. Let's use the buzzer. The buzzer. But yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to the next cinematic quest. This game. 
But uh, there's also been a lot of awesome stuff happening at E3. Um, very excited for some games. Especially that uh, Kingdom Hearts, that looked very good. That Kingdom Hearts. Because I've never owned any of the Kingdom Hearts, but I used to have a friend that had had the games on PlayStation and we used to play the heck out of them. We always used to play so much of them. Oh crap. I was actually going to change to um, to Mirage Prime. Because then I could uh, use her powers to... Or take advantage of her powers to make my submachine gun more effective. But oh well. Who cares. But yeah, there's been some pretty good things. I've heard, though... Because I'm going to be watching, like I said earlier... All the, uh, all the E3 conferences, I've heard that the Sony one was 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 all right and good, but there was a bit of like some issues with it. I've heard over the interwebs. Like the people said, it was it was it was a fun conference, but it just it was just missing something Another from what I've heard. Well executed. So I I have no idea. And I have no idea why we just joined a mission that's just ended. With no effort put into it. Unless they left before I was able to join properly. Who knows. But yeah. I also heard that uh, Nintendo's E3 conference sort of got really, really tedious. I've heard that. <laughs> Apparently so that... I think the Super Smash Bros was like like on their stream for a ridiculous amount of time. Well, well I, don't, I don't mean ridiculous as in like like an hour, but it was on for so long that people just lost interest. I I heard apparently. And okay, um that's fun. There's already found, I've already found a game-breaking glitch in the game already. Let's try Elite Sanctuary like we originally wanted to do. Actually, no way. Let's change out my Warframe, like I said, to Mirage Prime. Let's uh, move my mic around a bit. So yeah, we can uh, then take advantage of uh, this has been counting stars, operator. her pals. Um, okay, thanks game. Glad to say, it's like, uh, are you going to let me choose a character or not? Okay, let's see. Actually, let's just do normal sanctuary. I got a feeling that uh, we're not going to find anyone for Elite Sanctuary. But yeah. There are a few games I'm interested in getting. I am saving up for a few of them. So, yes. Near Aut Automata, if I'm saying the name right, is a game that I have to play like it looks so good like I saw like I, I didn't watch the whole stream of it but I saw I think it was the Rad oh, I can't remember his name but I think it was Rad or someone like that that I saw streaming the game and it just looked so fucking good and I and I said to myself when I saw it I have to play this like, it, it's a must if it comes to Xbox, so I just have to get places before to play it. But thankfully, it has come to Xbox, and I have just sort of not screwed up, but sort of uh, sort of gotten myself 
got myself into a sticky situation as they say. Oh crap. This is not going to be fun. The Noxes already. Wasn't expecting the Noxes to appear this early. I love this weapon. Partly because it sort of reminds me of the UMP 45 from uh, Modern Warfare 2. Not in the way it works, but in the way it sounds. It just sort of reminds me of that weapon. Or something like, uh, what was that uh, weapon in the Black Ops 2? The shot at this, like, this fast. Also, now that it reminds me, the lap there, if I can speak, after watching the uh, Microsoft uh, conference for E3, I sort of left, well, not didn't leave, I sort of, after, after I finished watching it, I sort of felt as if Microsoft was really trying to go for Japanese like like games just come into their console because they premiered quite a few Japanese like these titles or announced uh, like remasters or remakes of quite a few of them and they showed off all the previously known like already leaked or revealed video games of the same like area in the world in their conference with Kingdom Hearts 3 and uh, Tales of Vesperia was one that uh, that 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 Capcom game I was had a world premiere um, I suppose I suppose you could somewhat say Tomb Raider is part of the uh, those Japanese like style because it is run by a Japanese well it's it, it is it is published by a Japanese company and they also had Jump Force as well which actually looked pretty damn cool Jump Force looked pretty pretty insane in my opinion. That's some pretty insane stuff after watching uh, Jump Force. Like I was pretty like at first when I uh, when I saw it, I thought it was going to be a like an announcement that uh, that that the other game that the Microsoft was going to have exclusive to their console that won by by Platinum was going to be uh, continued by another studio or they just happen to somehow uh, be able to to be able to like like fund the game onto their console or something like that. That's why I originally thought it was going to be until I saw obviously um, uh, all those characters from Dragon Ball and all those well not all those characters but the main character from Dragon Ball, uh, One Piece and the other one. Naruto. I just realised that I'm sort of like not not uh, talking properly like they usually do. That's what happens when you pretty much do not uh, stream properly or consistently for some time, or at least for me, that's the case. Okay, I need to. Okay, it is Eclipse, and okay, cool. It is Eclipse I want to be using. 
But yeah, that's what that's what happens to me if I don't uh, stream 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 consistently. I end up uh, pretty much just pausing between sentences, which I don't usually end up. Go now. But it doesn't usually end up being a thing that happens to me. Usually, I can like talk norm well not talk normally, but talk in in a comfortable. Hurry, like situation. I don't know if I will actually finish this quest. No, not quest, but this mission, I should say. I think I will probably just get about 30 35 minutes. If I end up getting a Cora piece, because I've already got one of them, I got the uh, Cora helmet. But if I'm able to get like another piece in this, which I highly, highly doubt so, I'll probably stick around until either we complete it or we fail the mission and it just ends like that. Well, no, we're not fail, but we are like, we reach 0% is what I mean. Because you can't really, well, depends on what you mean by fail, <laughs> I suppose. You cannot, like, lose all your loot now, that's, that's what I'm trying to say, if you do fail this mission, so I don't really class as a, a, a mission failed in somewhat. Keep on thinking, because I'm playing things so much that my free is supposed to, like, be my chaos, but... <laughs> Then I realise I'm playing a Mirage Prime and that is not the case. There we go. Again, I thought I was playing Lynx and my Chaos was going to be propped until I realised that I'm not playing Lynx. How much of an idiot can I become is my question in life. But yeah, it's been a pretty, pretty fun E3, to be honest. Yeah, like, hopefully... Hopefully the mix part will also be very worthwhile because I've already gotten one of the uh, I wouldn't say mix pop but one of the things that you can obtain I believe as a free thing which was that uh, free game that uh, I think it was called uh, Wilds or that the Outer Wilds or the Outer Wilds as you say not the Outer Wilds. I think it was something that was called something like that. So yeah. Again, I thought that I was playing Nynx. Because I've been so used to playing Nynx on this objective type thing that I just press my free to use my chaos as soon as I go through the portal. I don't think we're gonna get too far in this anyway because we're already down to 85% and, and it's going down now. Just use my sword because it's more effective than using anything else. I got it here. That's not good. Give me a second, guys. There we go. Hopefully that won't happen again. I always hate it when I get a like a funny like this itching feeling in 
to the inside of my ear where my bloody headset is, it gets so annoying then that means I have to stop playing the game pause my mic so it doesn't sound like I'm <laughs> some weird sounds are coming through on the stream So yeah. Oh, and the uh, what was it called? That Capcom gig, that 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 Capcom game that was revealed at uh, or world premiere at the uh, Xbox looks so fucking good. I've never actually played any of those games, but it looked so good. I've heard of it, but I've never actually played the games on uh, PlayStation when I had my PlayStation 2. And I really, really wish I had because they did look fun to play when I first, well, when I first saw any footage of it, like years and years ago. Oh wait, the no way. Okay. Oh, here we go. Then the ends justify my means. But yeah, it will be uh, fun to see what Cora is like if I do unlock her. Because I have no idea how she plays. Except for the fact that she has a, a Kavat, I believe, on her. I think that's one of the features that she has, like she comes with a, a Kavat. I think so. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I might be wrong on that front. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments down below or in the stream if you're watching this live. That was a close one. I love the Barza. It's the best weapon in my opinion. Or in, in my inventory, it is the the best weapon me and nobody else and I'm looking so excited to that new halo because that engine that uh, that showcase of the new engine the slip that slip space engine sorry that's so so good graphics look very very nice and I'm hoping at at gamescom they show a tiny bit more I'm hoping they do. I'm hoping. But I've got a feeling that they won't. They're probably going to leave all the reveals for that for next year's E3, which is fine, but it's going to be annoying. I have to wait that long. To find out anything. A new data is Oh shit, I didn't realise that this guy got knocked down. Oh well. reason they're not doing very well with this uh, this particular mission which is unfortunate but oh well can't have everything your way as they say
Wonder if my three works on my sword only on my primary or, or secondary weapon. I'm not entirely sure. I should find out. Really, to be honest. God damn it! This fucking thing is still alive. Why can't you just accept your demise? Oh wait, there. That's why. There's one of these fuckers here. There we go, take that bitches. Attack us and we will counter. I don't know if that did anything to help my squad, but it, it seemed like it, so I'm going to say yes. Oh crap. And this is why I like to play Link because then if I get surrounded I can just proc my free and then yeah <laughs> as you guys know I can survive because they can't well they can still shoot me if I'm doing too much to them then I just aggro the fuck out of myself but in 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 an ideal circumstance, they won't attack me and they'll just attack one level. <laughs> That's why I love using things. Oh, okay, I didn't really take him down as well. Okay, uh, controller, thanks for that. I'm going to die. Yay. Yep, I told you guys. I was going to die and I died. Like a dirty bitch. Apparently. Okay. Mm, pardon me. Yeah, we're not gonna get to uh, zone 9, I think. But I think it'll be a good way to end the stream on just doing this. Okay, I don't know why. Oh, that's why I had my primary weapon out. Okay, thank you. It's got my ass handed to me again. They changed the sound effects for Lex Prime again. Sounds like it. Efficiency is crucial to this experiment's design. Work faster! Well, that didn't work out. Disco ball time! Fuck you bitches, we think it'll be fucking probably to these guys, but oh well. I got my ass handed to me again. Yeah, we're not gonna do this, is at 7% already. Oh no, it's going up to 16. Do, 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 do. But yeah, I actually I think after E3 ends, I think I'll just give my overall review on each of the E3s. I don't know if I'll do it as separate like um, upload studio type of like clips, or if I'll just do it in like one whole stream and just like split it into parts and put like uh, these notifications in my. Uh, in, in the description of the video where you wanna like head to if you wanna find out what my opinion was on each of the uh, the conferences. I probably will do the latter because it'll be a lot easier in my opinion be able to uh, 
to do that. Hunter, you oh, well, it's ended. Expectations. You are far more exciting and complex than any specimen in my sanctuary. Why, thank you, Cephalon Sid. I cannot remember his name. I know it's Cephalon something. Sidurus? Sidurus? I, I think. That's the name that's coming to my mind. I might be wrong. So we've got 891 kills, 60 Xmas kills, clear bonus, and then obviously the total. Well, oh crap, this, this is why I hate this controller. No, not this controller, but this system. But anyway, guys, that is Warframe Wednesdays. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you've, in, yep, if you've enjoyed this stream, please hit the follow and follow me and share the link for my stream channel or my channel in general if you're watching this on YouTube please hit the subscribe little notification the thing next to the subscribe tab and hit the like button and if you want to please share this video around on social media social media and I need to get back into stream more because I can't speak properly but as always guys Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out and take care. Goodbye.